Good afternoon, Good Shepherd. It is Wednesday, April 27th, 2022. I'm glad to be back uh, from vacation, back in the saddle here. Uh, it was a wonderful week away. Uh, spent some time camping near Salida. Didn't look like uh, this behind me. It was a little more uh, barren um, in the Red Rock country, but it was a lovely time, um, despite the fact that it was very windy. Um, the first day I was there, it was so windy, it destroyed my tent. Um, so I had to get a new one. Um, but it was fun, and the fishing was good. Uh, lovely time uh, away. And uh, I'm always uh, thankful um, for the folks who helped make it possible for me to be away. And so particularly uh, to the Reverend Mary Need and the Right Reverend um, Chris Epting for filling in uh, with worship and all, always uh, to Deacon the Dean for smoothing all of those things out. Um, I know there were some problems um, with the 745 service and the streaming, um, and I apologize for that. Um, a lot of that was my fault and didn't get things corrected before it took off uh, in the hubbub of, of Holy Week and Easter. So I apologize for that and um, grateful for the folks who tried to make it work, uh, and it wasn't their issue. It was really mine. So we'll have that resolved uh, for the next time we are broadcasting. Um, which will be May 8th. Um, anyway, so just uh, to say thanks to them. Thanks too to the folks who came out um, uh, a week ago or last Saturday uh, to, to do the parish work day. Uh, there was a lot of stuff done and I'm just really grateful for them. Um, I've been in the kitchen. Many of you know that while my uh, uh, kitchen is being, my kitchen at home is being remodeled. I've been doing my dishes here. And, and so I see the kitchen and I see what's going on in it. I see what's going on in the pantry. And boy, there was a lot of really great work that was done on that work day. So to people who worked all around the building, inside and out, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And a lot of the reason that we did that work day at this point was we were preparing for the bishop's visit. Um, as you know, uh, Bishop Kim Lucas, the Bishop of, Calif of Colorado, uh, will be here on Sunday uh, for our service at nine o'clock, one service at nine o'clock. And uh, she will be here to preach and to celebrate and to baptize and confirm. Um, it will be a great, great, great day. Uh, we're going to be celebrating some First Communions as well as people being received into the church and co confirmation and reaffirmation of baptismal vows. It will be a great day. and. Uh, Bishop Kim is a wonderful preacher, as many of you know. Um, if you've not heard her, this will be a treat. If for some reason you are unable to join us, uh, this will be live streamed, um, as we did both for Palm Sunday and for Easter. The same um, company will be live streaming this coming Sunday. Um, and so it will be uh, a lot of fun. So services at 9, it will be followed by a reception. There has been some information going out about signing up. Uh, to bring sort of brunch food for a reception, um, and, and that would be great. Uh, I was, I've been talking with the bishop about her visit, and she reminds people um, that she is gluten-free, um, and she reminds people that uh, obviously not everything has to be gluten-free, but also that bacon is gluten-free. And she told me uh, yesterday uh, in a conversation that she was recently at the House of Bishops um, and she had to remind them that, uh, you know, roast beef is gluten-free. Just don't put gravy on it. So anyway, not everything has to be gluten-free. Uh, not everything has to be dairy-free. We um, just want to be mindful of all of that. So look forward to seeing you. Look forward to your contributions to um, the, the reception, the brunch reception. Also want to call to uh, mind something else that will be coming out in the uh, e-news or that has been in the e-news board. Information will be coming out tomorrow about the NAMI walk. That's the National Alliance for Mental Illness. Um, we have a team. It's the Good Shepherd Sheep Walkers uh, that will be walking um, in the NAMI walk on the 21st of May. I, I will be among them. Um, you're welcome to join in and or uh, simply donate to uh, to the cause, and the links for that will be in the uh, e news tomorrow. So uh, be there to to uh, walk uh, in um, support of, of addressing this this issue 
of mental illness um, that has certainly blossomed over the last several years and we see the impact of it um, in people all around us from the youngest um, on to the oldest. So uh, NAMI does great work and uh, we're happy to help support them in that. It's Wednesday, so this evening uh, at 8.45, I invite you to zoom in for Compline. Uh, as always, the links for that will go out both on Facebook and in an email uh, later today, uh, and you're welcome to join in that. Close today, this will be a relatively short uh, midweek moment, um, but close today with a prayer um, by uh, 20th century theologian, Carl Bart, and it is a prayer for Easter. Oh Lord God, you are the light that can never be put out. And now you give us a light that shall drive away all darkness. You are love without coldness, and you have given us such warmth in our hearts that we can love all when we meet. You are the life that defies death, and you have opened for us the way that leads to eternal life. None of us is a great Christian. We are all humble and ordinary, but your grace is enough for us. Arouse in us that small degree of joy and thankfulness of which we are capable, to the timid faith which we can muster, to the cautious obedience which we cannot refuse, and thus to the wholeness of life which you have prepared for all of us through the death and resurrection of your Son. Do not allow any of us to remain apathetic or indifferent to the wondrous glory of Easter. But to let, let the light of our risen Lord reach every corner of our dull hearts. Amen.